This is Lime and in this video we are looking at Lyndon B. Johnson and the Vietnam War. So Johnson's primary aim in Vietnam was to achieve a quick victory without a major escalation of the war. Now this meant that in 1964 there was a clear conflict in Johnson's ideas as he wanted to win the war without it becoming Americanized. Now in January 1964, uh, Johnson agreed to the implementation of Oat Plan 34A, and these were covert operations which started to escalate the pressure on North Vietnam. Johnson also continued Kennedy's approach of increasing the number of military advisors from 16,300 to 23,300, and by sticking to Kennedy's counterinsurgency tactics. And counterinsurgency tactics are tactics used to defeat guerrilla warfare. However, European Western allies were not convinced of Johnson's tactics. So, for example, the French leader Charles de Gaulle warned Johnson that American involvement could be similar to the French failures in Indochina, which we looked at when we looked at things like Dien Bien Phu. Now, this meant that Johnson was not inclined to escalate the war. However, this all changed after the Gulf of Tonkin incident in August 1964. And on the 2nd of August, three North Vietnamese patrol boats fired torpedoes at USS Maddox in the Gulf of Tonkin, which is near Vietnam. Now, the attack failed and one Vietnamese boat was sunk and the other two were badly damaged. But on the 4th of August, Johnson ordered a bombing of North Vietnamese naval bases. Now, when news of the attack reached Washington, Congress agreed on a remarkable resolution on the 7th of August, and this resolution gave Johnson the power to do whatever he felt necessary to resist any further attacks in Vietnam. So, in other words, Johnson was free to conduct whatever policy he wanted in Vietnam without having to consult Congress. But by the end of 1964, there was this deteriorating situation in Vietnam for the US, um, and these are a few reasons why. Now, the first one is because China had agreed to provide military supplies to North Vietnam. Now, the USSR had also established diplomatic links with the National Liberation Front and were sending weapons to North Vietnam. The Viet Cong had strengthened their positions in the south of Vietnam. The US bombing response to the Gulf of Tonkin incident has failed to improve the South Vietnamese government and said there was starting to come this rise in anti-American feelings. And the South Vietnamese um, army, also known as Arvin, were in a low state of morale due to poor leadership, inadequate training and low pay. Now, after Johnson had won the presidential election, though, and the Gulf of Tonkin resolution had been passed, he did feel the freedom to escalate the role of the US in the Vietnam War. Now, Johnson did not want a diplomatic solution because he was certain that faced with the economic and military might of the USA, um, North Vietnam might back down. Now, this meant that Office to arrange talks by the UN Secretary General, Yu Thant, were rejected. Now, the other significant turning point was the Viet Cong attack on army barracks and a US helicopter base in Ply Ku. And after this event, Johnson ordered Operation Rolling Thunder, and this was a bombing campaign which progressed throughout Johnson's presidency. In addition to Rolling Thunder, the first US combat troops arrived in Da Nang in March 1965. And in April 1965, North Vietnam offered a four-point proposal. And this four-point proposal included that US troops must withdraw from South Vietnam in accordance with the Geneva Agreement. Neither North nor South Vietnam may enter any military alliance with a foreign power during the temporary division of Vietnam. South Vietnam's internal affairs must be settled by uh, South Vietnamese alone and without external influence, and the peaceful reunification of Vietnam must be settled by people of both zones. But Johnson rejected these proposals as he thought it would lead to a unified and communist Vietnam, and instead he escalated the war by sending an air squadron, 20,000 troops and two marine battalions into Vietnam. Now, by July 1965, the US had deployed 75,000 ground troops in Vietnam, and this strengthened the resolve of the North Vietnamese leaders to lead to this large, large conflict. 
So that is Johnson's role in the Vietnam War, one of the main people to really escalate it and get it started into what it would be in such an awful conflict. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.